So hello everyone, and here with another LEGO Star Wars review, but one of a few for summer 2020, of course. So today's of which is on the Knights of Ren transport ship, otherwise the Night Buzzard, that is as of now being released. And if you're wondering, where did I get this quite early? Well, it's at Target. Got this at Target. So just go right to your stores. They would have them early, no matter what. So on the front of the box, here's the Lego logo, Star Wars logo, and now the white Darth Vader border instead of the black Kylo Ren border. Maybe because the craze of Episode Nine has finished up or something. Uh, not sure about that, but whatever. But you see a picture of it coming down onto Pasana and also get the three Disney things included, Disney logo, and recommended ages is uh, not enough. Set number 75284 has 595 pieces. And then on the back, see it in a resting position, a couple of features of it. And then play it in the Skywalker Saga game. And now to the booklet, of oh, which on the front of the booklet, same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, I went on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. And then out of all the mini things included in the sets of this summer wave, of course, after the Skywalker Saga game. And then the last cap, of course. Sorry about the yawn. First of all, is Ray. Oh, Ray. Oh, same as from last year's Passat Speeder Chase set. And also, same hairpiece and face prints. Same as from 2015, of course. And if you weren't able to obtain the Passat Speeder Chase, this is your option to get this version. Next to it is what people are going to be, what everyone's probably going to be picking up the set for, is for the last two of the Knights of Ren. So have one of which, as you can see, and the helmet piece of which does kind of look a little medieval-esque. But at least it can't work with uh, uh, custom figures of that, of course. But in the torso print, leg print, great. And the uh, blaster, which quite interesting, but also quite interesting build and all. But back torso print, also good. So, yeah. And if take off, plain black head, which some of the others did have. And lastly is the last one of the Knights of Ren. Well, although the helmet of which does kind of feel like a, uh, or looks almost like a scout trooper's helmet, but it's modified slightly, of course. And besides that, uh, the molding of it and also the prints done really good. And torso prints, like prints, all look great. And also blaster, which kind of common, but looks good. And then back torso print, also great. Well, captures its appearance. And then, same thing, plain black head. So, of course. And lastly, is the Night Buzzard itself. Oh, which is pretty cool. Uh, quite cool, though. That from first glance does feel kind of like the first order transporter from 2015, of course. But of course, it's kind of the same deal, you know. But for the Knights of Ren instead of the Stormtroopers, obviously. As look to the front end of the vehicle, which as he has some of those like 
on paneling pieces acting as a grill for it and some, also some good technique of the things put on some winch pieces and some good techniques of all these like things you on there for like griefles or stuff. But however, on one side, which does have an extra blaster on it made of a lightsaber hilt, it's there. And if you wonder what the rock sticking out for is if you tap that. And then there's the spring loaded monsters, of course. And if going further down, it's as he has some of those technic brackets and also various those technic things there with a couple of tubes going to it, uh, kind of cool. And but, but yeah, a couple more of those jumper dish pieces and some some more mini blasters there. And further down, you yeah, have a couple of engines of which may have very few plates and a lot of grill pieces or something. And some more of that in there. Oops. And from the back part view is a lot of the like clear uh, pieces and also one of those rounded kind of ones like we've seen in the Star Wars solo line of course and, or in the solo wave of course and also got a lot of the larger jagged slopes which done really good done pretty good for that and you get uh, this little salad dish pieces for it to communicate with the rest of the first order of course have a few opening hatches so you can sit your two knights of rent mini things into of course and clips to hold their guns on and also in this upper area where you can lift right up and it's where you can probably put Ray or maybe one or two of your other Knights of Ren mini figs in there. But and look from the bottom and just really vacant bare arms. I think there should be some more uh, bricks uh, held under it to like store your other Knights of Ren mini figs, of course. And also, of course, get some of the like landing pad kind of pieces like we had with the Sith infiltrators and things. And as for the color scheme, mainly mostly black, dark gray, and a little bit of gunmetal and silver. But there's a little accents of dark tan around. Probably representing the sands of Takadana and uh, Jakku and Asana. But besides that, at least it does work well. well. But it kind of fits its in film appearance, of course. And so now, on to with the final verdict on this one. Overall, this I think is a pretty cool set. Or really cool set. Although it does have the last two Knights of Ren, which of course is going to be the big incentive for it. But at least you get plenty of good black pieces for it. And, well, although I would have suggested throwing in another thing being of uh, probably Dio or at least the old Lando or Calrissian, of course which make this minifig lineup a bit more interesting. But besides that, isn't all the designs of which also done good and although kinda small for its price point. To like five hundred some pieces for around sixty, seventy dollars of course. But at least it kinda works well. And so if you're looking to get this set to complete the Knights of Ren, well, definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to 
You'll get this for your episode 9 collection, of course. Also, definitely pick it up. And that's about it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.